The smaller Pixel 7 has got the battery life of most larger Pro phones, and then the Pixel 7 Pro is right there. With the iPhone 14 Pro Max, is not quite the very best, but in the highest tier, and I'd be willing to be that the new Tensor chip has something to do with that. The Pixel 7 and 7 Pro are the first phones to be powered by Google's second-generation Tensor chip. If we pull up a quick Geekbench on the Pixel 7s you can see that Tensor Gen 2 is actually very much neck and neck. With Samsung's S22 Ultra and CPU performance. If you don't have an engaged day with your Pixel 7 Pro it can last even two full days while using the camera for 22 minutes. Including some gaming session this thing lasted the full day and at the end of the day it was a 49%. Screen on time what matters and the Pixel 7 Pro gives a 3 hours and 43 minutes of screen on time. Using throughout the day which means also includes some standby time but if you use this straight on this thing will give a better screen on time. Then the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Although Pixel 7 and 7 Pro both phones shares the same battery 5000 mAh. This matters to some people and for some people it don't matter, but Google Pixel 7 Pro charging speed is also good. While using an old 20 w fast charger this thing charged pretty well. Even though Google put a 30 w charging fast charger in the Pixel 7 Pro by plugging Pixel 7 on charging on 20%, and 30 minutes it goes up to 56% which means 36% in half an hour, and in 60 minutes it goes up to 83% which is marvelous. This user Danny Silverster has also got the phone and he's been testing out the battery life. He charged battery at 7.30 am and he's been taking 4K videos, photos, playing Genshin Impact and an insane amount of notifications. And after 7.50 pm over 12 hours later the phone still has 49% charge which is impressive. The Pixel 6 Pro doesn't have a great battery life so it seems Google has nailed the optimization part as well. By the way he also mentioned that while playing Genshin Impact, the phone doesn't heat up. In fact he says the phone doesn't heat up at all during his full day of usage which is remarkable. Because it's Samsung who's manufacturing these chipset. The Pixel features 30 watt fast charging as opposed to iPhone 25 watt fast charging. In addition, the Pixel has an adaptive battery which learns which apps you use most often while it's extreme battery saver mode. Gives you battery life for up to 72 hours up from the normal 24 hours. So, without been said, let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe, peace out.